Assalamualaikum. My name is Dr. Tuba Aftab and I am a graduate of King Edward Medical University. Today we will be talking about some guidelines for FCPS Part 1 in ophthalmology. First of all, introduction about FCPS Part 1. Uh, part 1 is the entrance exam for postgraduate training in Pakistan. It is conducted by CPSP. It is conducted four times a year and a candidate can take three attempts per year. The passing percentage is 75% for this exam. This exam consists of two papers, each containing 100 MCQs. Two hours for each paper with a 30 minute break after paper 1 is an online computer exam. Paper 1 is same for all specialties and is comprised of in questions for almost all subjects or topics. Paper 2 is more related to your concerned specialty. After passing part 1, it remains valid for 3 years. Now we're going to talk about the sources that you uh, can use for your preparation. First of all, first aid for USMLE step 1. This is the main book that you have uh, that you are going to use as a reference for your theory. BRS Physio Snell's Neuroanatomy, Snell's Ocular Anatomy. These are the main reference books. Then come the specific notes for part 1. Rame Ophthalmology Notes, AA or Rafi Notes, SK Series, that are mostly the past papers. The main preparation time needed is, the minimum time required is 2-3 to three months. But if you have enough time, you can give as much time as you want. But still, smart study is the key. Now we're going to talk about both papers one by one. First of all, for paper one, how are you going to prepare for it? For paper, as paper one is a more general paper, so you have to touch everything. But you don't need to do everything from everywhere. First of all, start by doing main theoretical part from first aid. This means that you have to do all the systems from first aid, for example, renal system, GIT, cardiovascular, etc. After each unit or system that you do from the first aid, do it from either Ruffy notes or AA notes. This is going to reinforce your concepts. Ruffy notes and AA notes mainly consist of the important points and the points that are being asked in FCPS part one. You cannot pass this exam after just doing the theoretical part, you have to do these notes. For neuroanatomy, Snell's neuroanatomy is recommended. But I personally recommend Kepler neuroanatomy because it is more brief and compact. For neurophysiology, you can use BRS Physio as uh, a reference. Now we are going to talk about all the subjects one by one. First of all, anatomy. As paper 1 is a general paper, so not much is being asked from the uh, special anatomy or the gross anatomy. And uh, in ophthalmology, this is specifically for ophthalmology, that you do not need to do limb anatomy in detail. Only notes are enough. You do not have to open your uh, Snell's anatomy or KLM or whatever you are using as a source. You do not have to do uh, limb anatomy in detail. For, uh, for ophthalmology paper, you just have to do head and neck in detail and neuroanatomy in detail. So for limb anatomy, notes are enough. Similarly, for abdomen, pelvis and thorax, there are a few topics that are important from the abdomen, pelvis. For example, the lymphatic drainages are important. Uh, here it's written. Uh, relations of kidney and adrenal blood supply of stomachs these these type of topics are uh, important that you are going to have an idea when you do the past paper mcqs otherwise you do not have to do it in detail and you do not need to waste your time on this head and neck portion needs to be done in detail it is very important for both paper one and paper two neuroanatomy is to be done in detail especially blood supplies uh, brainstem lesions and cortical areas etc Now comes the physiology. All the systems can be sufficiently covered from first aid plus notes. As I have told you before, do a system from first aid, read it from the first aid to clear your concepts and then move to the notes. This is going to reinforce your concepts. BRS physiology can be used for CVS, respo and uh, renal as an agent. It is totally on you. First aid is enough. 
but still if you want to reinforce some concepts or anything you can use either a book or uh, youtube videos or anything take help from videos wherever needed importance of system in order as are as follows so th this is the order in which you have to do your uh, systems now pathology general and special pathology can be done from first aid for plus notes okay so general and special pathology also are an important part of uh, paper one but it is not very important for paper two so you are going to do it uh, from uh, from one place you don't have to do it in too much detail microbiology can also be done from notes alone with the help of sketching micro detailed study is not required uh, in ophthalmology pharmacology does not have uh, too, ma too much weightage so it can be easily covered from notes alone with some help from either Kaplan or Sketchy, whatever uh, you want to use as your uh, adjunct or as a reference. Then for biochemistry, behavioral sciences, ethics, biostatics, and embryology, all of these can be easily covered from notes. You do not have to do these from separate books. Now comes to paper two. That is mainly ophthalmology part. 50 to 60 percent of the paper is from general topics, and only 40 percent MCQs are specifically from ophthalmology. Important topics from which MCQs come are other than ophthalmology are neurology, head and neck, embryology, endocrinology, etc. For ophthalmology, you can do theory from Snell's ocular anatomy plus. Rama ophthalmology notes or if you don't have much time you can do uh, Rame ophthalmology notes alone and wherever you need you can uh, use Snell's as your reference or you can watch a video to clear your concepts embryology of eye is very important for this paper uh, I told you before in paper one embryology can be done from notes alone that is for paper one but in embryology the most important thing that you need to do is the embryology of eye same goes for the histology of eye histology of eye embryology of eye these are both bo very important for ophthalmology and they are uh, going to be a part of paper 2 then comes uh, some calculations and formulas uh, they are frequently repeated from past papers so just learn some basic formulas and relations and there is no need to cram all the formulas these are very frequently repeated questions now we're going to talk about if you do not have much time for your preparation so if you have less time you can follow this plan uh, you can either do it in three months or two months but i would say three months are the minimum time that you need so uh, if you if you have three months then uh, give one month to all the important systems from first aid then one and a half months to Rame and other notes, the AA or Ruffy, whatever you're using. And then 15 days to past paper MCQs. Okay. Past paper MCQs are a must. You have to do the, these. Without past paper MCQs, uh, it is going to be very difficult. And, but if you have two months, uh, so it is a little bit difficult and can be done. But it can be done with consistency and more study hours. So for that, you can do it as follows. One and a half month to notes and Rame. Take help from internet videos or first aid in, in case you need to understand some concepts and 15 days for past MCQs. So uh, in two months plan, you do not um, have to do theory from first aid. Just keep it uh, with you as a reference and start doing directly from notes. And wherever you think that you need to clear your concept, etc. So take help from either in videos or first aid. So this is how you're going to prepare for your part one exam. Some tips and tricks that might help you in preparation. First of all, consistency is the key. You're going to take some time to build up your tempo for studying, but that's okay. You just have to stay consistent. Do not let it get on your nerves. After all, it is just an exam. After doing main theory, if you still get past MCQs wrong, don't worry. It's very common. It's normal. Don't try to do everything from everywhere. 
this is very important you need to understand this that you do not have to do everything from everywhere this is just going to waste your time use mnemonics wherever wherever possible just believe in yourself and keep going make a routine and you don't need to compromise on your health for this exam so get yourself proper rest and food i hope this video have helped you thank you so much for watching the video and good luck for your exam